guys, Rika here. I'm about to start my level 60 personal story. I'm here at the Durman Priory in Mornar's Pass. Durman Priory Waypoint. Let's get going. Dragons are a threat to everyone, Ikniu. I am pleased your village has joined the fight against them. The Sun God looks down on this world. He watches us. We will not fail. Good day, explorer. Siren and I have been discussing your recent ordeal. It is tragic, simply tragic, that such destruction was inflicted. I cannot overstate it. The dragons must be stopped. The one bright spot in this whole situation is that your actions have saved many lives and gained allies for the Priory. As steward, I'm pleased to promote you to the Priory's highest active rank, Magister. Thank you, Steward Gix. It's a great honor. Congratulations, fellow Magister. Celebrate all you like, but I need you to run a small errand as well. An associate of mine recently developed a new equation that might pinpoint weaknesses in higher magical entities, like the dragons. Mava has offered the Priory a copy of her research. I want you to go to Lion's Arch and pick it up. Sounds like fun. I'll meet you at her house. It's on the beach, near the Western Ward. This is the right house, but Gix didn't say anything about weird lights and thumping noises. Do you think that's normal? I seriously doubt it. The house's defense mechanisms have been activated. Oh, no. Maybe someone tried to break in and steal Maver's research. We'd better head in and find Maeva. She may need our help. Salutations. I see you're from the Priory. Thanks for the help. I'm glad I didn't have to wait for the defenses to deactivate. 
And how long would that have taken, exactly? Oh, 3,500 years, give or take a decade. At that point, I would have emerged from stasis, confident that the radiation was gone. What's this? Aha! Uh -huh. The creature that invaded my house was some kind of Orion scout. I told Giggs that my equations predicted an assault on Lion's Arch. This intrusion implies we've reached time critical for that attack. If that's true, then the whole city's in danger. Maver, go to the Priory. Show Gix your research. My friend and I will head for Claw Island immediately. We have to warn the Lion Guard. What's on Claw Island? The Claw Island Fortress stands in the harbor of Lion's Arch. It's the last defense against invasion from the sea. If Zaitan's going to attack the city, its minions will have to fight their way past the fort. Thank you for meeting with us, Watch Commander Talon. We have grave news. One of Zaitan's minions breached the city. We destroyed it, but the creature was likely scouting for a much bigger force. An attack is imminent. A what? That's extremely unlikely. We've seen no sign of an impending attack. If there was to be one, we'd know of it. By the bow, Siren. May the tree watch over you, young one. How's the Priory treating you? Firstborn, it is an honor to see you again. I'm so glad you're here. Something terrible is about to happen. Traherne, this is my dear friend. One of the kindest and most dedicated Magisters in the Priory. Magister, this is Traherne, Tyria's foremost scholar on Zaitan and Orr. He's a hero to me. Commander Talon, I can confirm their information. Zaitan's servants are indeed approaching. A fleet of dead ships has launched from the Straits of Devastation. The risen sail beneath a cloak of stealth. Whatever you've seen, it can't be a real threat. Claw Island can withstand any assault. Speak with my commanders, Brack and Mira. Once you review our defenses, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. I haven't seen you since you held the order with that under- I feel better. I've heard the rumors. I'm it's wonderful wonderful Deputy Mira. to see you again. She's in charge of the beach patrols. <laughs> Welcome to Beach Patrol, the most dangerous duty on Claw Island. Deputy, a massive attack is on its way from Orr. You must prepare your troops. If we fall, our last order is to light those three signal towers. We have to warn Lion's Arch if the fortress is lost. In a hundred years, they've never once been lit. We're very proud of that. Deputy Mira, sound the alarm. There are undead on the beach. If an invasion's really coming, we'll need everyone on the island to hold the line. <laughs> to her, I thought you said the attack would be significant. It was a feint. They're testing your defenses. All will come, and soon. Report to watch Commander Talon, and tell the men to be ready. I have studied Orion creatures for 20 years.
fallen, sir, and a lot of good soldiers with them. We have to light the watchtowers. I'm by a chance they've been lost? No, not yet. Claw Islands would stand much worse. Get on a trebuchet. Take ship in the harbor holds their reinforcements. Sink it! is overwhelmed. We have to evacuate the Lion Guard and ignite the watchtowers to warn the city. No, you'll never make it to the beacon with these risen monstrosities chasing you. We'll have to fight our way back. The Lion Guard will make a stand in the courtyard while you go for the tower. God's willing, Risen will be too busy fighting us to stop you. Your bravery is commendable, Deputy Mira, but your soldiers cannot survive a protracted battle against this many undead. It's the duty of every Lion Guard to lay down our lives to protect our city. If that's what it takes, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll rally in the courtyard. You light the warning beacons. Now go! Dragon's servants will never let our ships sail. If they surround the docks, they'll slaughter us, and Zaitan's forces will grow. Our soldiers are too injured to fight. They can barely walk. We can't form a defense and still get them all aboard. Someone needs to hold them off and give everyone else time to escape. No, not someone. Me. You can't win against those monsters, Siren. There are too many of them. If I can keep them busy, it's enough of a win for me. Gix always said I was an exceptional troublemaker. When you and I met, I didn't think about anything but myself. I wanted fun, excitement, risks. I didn't really care about others. In my short life, you've taught me the most important lesson. Friends will go through anything for each other. That's why I have to do this. I've always wondered what it would be like to go to the mists. It'll be a new adventure.
Magister, is it true? Siren, sh she's really dead. It's true, Gix. I'm sorry. But at least she went out bravely. Because of her sacrifice, the survivors reached Lion's Arch. I'd always hoped Siren would learn responsibility. But not like this. She was a turnip-brained, leaf-loving hero. And she will be missed. Siren's courage provided opportunity. But your bravery led us to safety, my friend. I owe you a great debt, Magister. You may not be a member of the Priory, Traherne, but you know more about the Orians than anyone in Tyria. What do you recommend? These undead are commanded by a powerful wraith. He'll remain hidden while his minions carry out the slaughter. So, we must discover the Unseen, hmm? I believe the Priory has an artifact that will aid us. An idol of Balthazar. The human god of war, murder, etc., etc. It can transform one individual. The more you kill, the more powerful you become. Until your enemy can no longer hide from you. But it is risky. I'll do it. Siren was never afraid to take risks. She gave us a chance to protect the city. And I plan to do exactly that. How on Tyria does this stump sorcel thing work anyway? Stand still, everyone. One wrong move and we're all shish kebabs. Yes. I don't I don't feel so well. I told you not to move. Last. Well, we can manage with one less. Everyone, concentrate. There. It worked. It wasn't a doubt in my mind. Go! Unleash righteous extermination! I'll do this alone. I'll stand with you. Done, Magister. You channeled the idol's power without turning into a ravaging, blood-crazed psychopath. Ah, I may not have mentioned that particular side effect. Well, never mind. Good job! The idol is incredibly strong. Can we use it against the vanguard at Claw Island? Sadly, no. The human god of mass murder is not a deity that likes to use the same tactic twice. The idol's no longer enchanted. Not long ago, an associate of mine, Tegwin, was trapped in awe. Since her return, she's been training Silvari to fight the Orions. We could use their help. Hmm. It's also possible that my researchers have finished their most recent project. They were modifying a sonic weapon we captured from the dredge. Those both sound like good ideas. Manpower or firepower. Give me a moment to think before I decide. Whatever you decide, I'm going with you. You need the help, and I owe it to Siren. If you need to know something, I can help. But I'll leave the commanding to the experts. Well, that's part one of the level 60 personal story. Stay tuned for part two. See you later.